you know, we use the term city when we talk about Cahokia because it was not only the largest complex here, it was the largest uh, native community there ever was in this country at any time. Out of the original 120 mounds that used to be here, there are about 80 that survive today in some form or another. Now, many have been plowed down by farmers, had houses built on them, uh, some were destroyed by subdivision and discount stores and things like that. Fortunately, we now have over 70 of the mounds of Cahokia protected as Cahokia Mound State Historic Site, owned and operated by the state of Illinois. And Cahokia was part of what we call the Mississippian cultural tradition. We don't know what they called themselves at this place. or It's not really a tribe, it's an urban area. People moving in here from a lot of distant places to become part of what was happening here. Uh, we're seeing you know, artifacts that come from Arkansas, and, uh, Missouri, uh, Kentucky, Indiana, and other places, showing that people were migrating into Cahokia. So there's something was happening here that drew people in and made it grow bigger than everything else. From the best we can tell, the, the mounds, when they were first seen by early settlers or uh, explorers, and, uh, they were always referred to as Indian mounds, you know. But back in the 1800s, there was a lot of debate, you know, about who built the mounds. You know, some people didn't want to believe the Indians were capable of building, you know, monuments. They you know, had kind of a racial attitude, you know, towards the uh, people of Native uh, culture. And uh, so they were saying, well, it must have been the, the Romans or the Egyptians or the Phoenicians or the Celts or somebody else that came and built these mounds and the Indians eventually wiped them out. Fortunately, we've been able to disprove those theories and, and show that indeed these mounds were all built by American Indians. Thank you.